Hello everyone. Good morning. I'm Varun. Through this demo, I would like to show how to generate an EDI file from input XML using Java mapping. The EDI file I'm generating is for pharmacy pharmaceutical industries and it's a pharmacy delivery file. All right. Now, what was the before I go into the technical details, let me explain what was the need for me to write a Java map for this particular scenario. Uh, around one and a half year back, uh, what happened is that in one of the projects, they have purchased the EDI module or they have purchased a B2B module. After purchasing the B2B module, when they started testing, they found that the EDI file which the customer or the client is sending or client is expecting is not handled by the B2B model. B2B model. So when they or the project when the project approached the SAP purple, they said that the B2B model or the B2B model doesn't handle this or doesn't generate this particular kind of file. Then the team members or the project team came to a conclusion that instead of again spending additional money, already it was very uh, the it was into the implementation level. The project was in implementation level, and at that time there was no time to again purchase a new B2B add-on to handle this kind of or uh, to generate this kind of EDI file because it was short and time and also the budget was an issue then the project team decided to go ahead to write a java map and that is how they this requirement has come to me and i have to write a java map to handle this particular scenario now what this java map does if you see this uh, my screen if you see my screen uh, Basically, from SAP, we get the payload. At this payload, we'll have certain details about the message. For example, receiver code, sales organization, and they have the wholesaler's details. And again, in the wholesaler details, they have the delivery details. And again, uh, sorry, again, in the delivery details, they have an item. This file has to be converted to EDI and sent to the customer as shown in the below. So this is how the EDI file needs to be sent. To generate this kind of, this kind of EDI file, we cannot use a file content convention because it's not a fixed delimited file. Each row is different and each row has a different segment. So we cannot achieve this functionality using a fixed content conversion or FCC. The only way we can achieve this is through a Java map. So hope this, is, hope this requirement is clear. A payload XML file has to be converted into an EDI file. All right, let me jump directly. Uh, before I go to the Java map, I would like to say that uh, I've written this blog in SAP community around one year back. Uh, this is my URL. You can check the URL. Uh, this is the URL where I've written the blog in SAP community. You can check this blog also. As with any blog, there are certain limitations wherein I cannot explain the code, Java code, very de at the detail level. So through this video, I'm trying to explain the Java code step by step in a more detailed level. Also, you can find the Java mapping code in the GitHub. I have uploaded entire Java mapping in this particular GitHub. Uh, you can just log, log into this URL and you can download the Java maps for your reference. So that's it about the introduction. Let me go to the uh, Java mapping also. Also, I'm assuming that this scenario is meant for the resources who are very good at SAP PI PO basics and they are aware of the Java mapping. They should have a good knowledge of Java mapping to implement this scenario. Okay, so this is my Java mapping. If you see, this is the class name Java map, which extends an abstract transformation. 
when you whenever we extend an abstract transformation it's mandatory to implement a transform method sorry i need to remove this static how to implement this transform method so transform method will have a transform input parameter argument 0 and output par parameter argument 1 now to read the input stream i'm using a dom parser as you might be aware an xml data can be parsed using a dom parser and a sax parser dom parser is is a mechanism which loads the entire file and iterates through a node by node so it loads the entire file and iterates from the parent node to child node to sub child nodes whereas sax parser reads or passes by a node but it doesn't not load the entire file in fact it passes a node uh, each node at at any given point of time so if you have a large payload then it's not suggestible to use a dom parser instead it is suggestible to use a sax parser now also one should remember that you always cannot use dom parser and you always cannot use a sax parser it depends on your requirement Sometimes the requirement can be done easily using a DOM parser and sometimes the requirement can be done easily using a SAX parser. Only with experience you will be able to determine which parser to be, to be used. Okay, that is uh, about the DOM and SAX parser. Please note that in this demo I am using a DOM parser. Uh, first if you see I am creating a document builder factory instance. Then I am creating a document builder. Then I'll create a document to which I pass the input stream. Once I have the input stream, I I get the receiver code. If you remember in the payload, there is a segment called receiver code and the sales organization. So I'm getting those two values. I'm getting the receiver code and the sales organization. What I'll do after getting the receiver code, I'll build the segment of the EDI. For which I have defined a method called build debint. You can go to this method by pressing F3. If you go to this F3, it will build a, a EDI content which should be which, which should be like below, wherein it will pass the sales organization and the receiver code values. All right, so. It will basically build the DBINT segment. If you go to the, so you see this first line. This is the first line which is built by this method build DB, DBINT. All right. After we build the first line, the next is you have to iterate. You have to get the old sailors. This old sailors can repeat multiple times. So you have to get this old sailors node list, and you have to iterate through the old sailors list. From this old sales list, you get the delivery details. All right, delivery details. Again, this delivery details can repeat multiple times. After we get the delivery details, the first thing we do is build the DEB message. You go to this method F3, and this is what you build DEB message advanced line. So if you go to the EDI message, this is the Next line we build. Build DEB message disadvantage at uh, this particular line. After we build the message line, the next thing is we build the DAT EHU. Now, this can repeat multiple times. Go to F3 and this will be, this will have multiple, seg uh, sorry, this will have all the segments DAT EHU. And so all the segment DETEHU, all the segment. That's what I see in this segment DETEHU, all the segments we are populating. All right. So this is how we do the DETEHU segment. And last, we build the item segment, which is INF LIN. You go if you go to this line, so you'll find this. All the segments are built here okay and also you can check the 
EDI file, which is you see this INF line segment. This is where we build the item. So this is how we should build the EDI file. Please note that this cannot be done using a fixed content conversion and can be done using only a Java map. Hope this video will help people who want to generate a EDI file from my input XML. Thank you.